it's a photo day. I gotta get caught up on my photos of uh, minifigures because I've got nothing to list. So I need to take some photos. Gonna get these four photoed first. And then, how many I got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen plus the four, seventeen. I got seventeen minifigures to list. That should last me about what? Three, three, four days. So, get going. Just cut out the uh, front part of the box for these uh, Shing Chi's that I parted out yesterday, and uh, I'm gonna use these to segment them up and make um, um, divider cards out of it. So I did all five boxes, just the face part, like all the rest of it's over there, ready for recycling. But um, I just did this because it didn't have any sort of um, because it was tabs. The other side had. Um, glue on it and it was you know still ripped off so this was the cleanest side and would provide the most most amount so five of these should i should get at least a pretty good amount there so i'm gonna try uh uh drawing them out and cut them out here So for each cover, um, set cover, piece of cardboard there, I was able to make eight dividers. And so eight times five is 40. So here we go. I've got 40 dividers here that I can start using to, uh, all these are, are like uncategorized, like they don't have a divider for them. So I need to go through them. Um, like here, here's four Harry Potters. Here's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Here's Series 17, Christmas. So I'm going to go through this and get these all um, divided up. Right now the back um, just has the divider cards that don't have any, any figures in it. I have all of my blanks and then everything else is back in, in here. I had to move some from the back here up here, but otherwise it's it's good. I started thinking about maybe just moving the Star Wars into the other box, but I don't think I'm ready yet for that. Next up on the part out table is the Luke Skywalker X-Wing Fighter. I have five of these. And, um, you know, this one will probably be a multi-day part out. But I want to get started. It's 9 a.m. now. I've um, been working for a couple hours on, on those uh, um, minifigures and photos and the dividers and that. So I'm um, thinking maybe I'll get one or two bags done here. I'm assuming there's five bags in here. We'll see. Also, tabs. Every single one is a tab. I was close, but there's only four bags. Okay, get the file set up. So let's do that. Hey, everything's all set up from yesterday. So we'll just uh, change the number to the 75301. And we have five of them. Create. Processing. Processing. Neural connections complete. I have access to the Borg subspace signals. Processing. Processing. Data. Stand by. Processing. Processing. Let's uh, open up that file. Uh, it's in here. Put it into desktop. Open it up. Processing. All right, 
here we go. Well, we got sticker pieces in here, so let's uh, let's get rid of that. Oh, look at them all. Unlike the uh, the other set, the other set didn't list all the sticker pieces. So delete those because I never list sticker pieces. We'll delete those and we'll delete all these. Now let's see if there's any counterparts, which is hard to see. Um, Ooh, flat silver gun. That's interesting. Nope, well, don't see any counterparts. Which is good. I'll find them anyways if I missed them. Uh, where was the sticker sheet? I thought I just saw that. Here it is. Let me put that away first. So we'll go get our sticker book. We'll bring it over here. Here's all the stickers. Where are we gonna put it? Where are we gonna put it? Probably page 15 again. These. Put them there. Open up my book. Let's see. I think it'll go right here. Should go 15 1. That'll fit. Yeah. So let's just mark it and then I'll put the camera down and put it in there. ST01.15.04. Right? I did all that. Good. Save it. Well, let's put it away. Then we'll open up bag one. And we'll start part now. Months later. Yes, 01, not 04. 04 was just last yesterday's part out. There, 01. Bag one has two small bags. Sad face. All right, I got bag one done. Um, all three bags in that bag are put away. The two minifigures, Luke and R2-D2, have been um, built, put in eBay, put in the BrickLink, and put into Part Out. So I'm doing the same thing with the five, three in eBay, one in BrickLink, and one parted out. Um, I did steal the uh, lightsaber and lightsaber hilt. They uh, deleted them from the file and put them into my uh, eBay accessories. I've got these three bags still left to do, but it's uh, getting close to work time, so this will probably have to happen tomorrow. Um, let's see, I'll bring this up to my desk. This is uh, minifigure part, minifigures that I, I photographed earlier today and just need to be listed. So I'm gonna get the Shang-Chi listed today and then the rest of these will happen uh, when they happen. And then I only have one order today, which was an eBay order and i'm almost uh through another sheet almost halfway through another sheet so wherever the red is here that's where uh i've i left off and i can i'll get uh two more out of this set and then uh yeah we'll go from there i think that's it i think i'm ready to go upstairs pooch there needs to go out he uh we gotta get him into the vet we just cannot get him into the vet his, uh, his one leg. We thought he got stung but by a bee, but it still hurts him really bad. We took I took the wrap off earlier today. <laughs> He's laying on his leg that's wrapped up. And he just licks and licks and licks. So th something's wrong. Um, so we need to go get him looked at. But trying to get him into a vet around here has just been crazy. Even the emergency hospitals filled up. They only take extreme cases. They won't take something like that. So we have to get up and call at eight o'clock and see if we can get them into like one of the emergency appointments in the morning at our vet and it's just crazy and then we've gone to we've called around to other vets and you know and he just moping around like that feel bad for him i need this to kick in very fast this morning 
it's it's uh what's that friday is it friday i think it's friday friday september 10th one order on the brick link pretty good order not bad and we've got uh one order on the ebay's so cowabunga dude wait no that's michelangelo what does Raphael say i got him out already there he is um i don't remember what the hell he says in the Cowabunga, that was the uh, Michelangelo. I don't remember. Does the phrase, go suck a lemon, hold any meaning for you? I remember I like Raphael because he was the closest to my name. Anyways, uh, this is pulled. I'm going to get him an envelope and then i got to pull that other order. And then continue on with the bags over there. Alright, we're going to pull this uh, Brooklyn quarter. It's 55 lots. 151 items. Uh, we're going to see how long it takes. Um, I googled stopwatch, thinking, hey, there's got to be like a, a stopwatch app or something. But when you Google stopwatch, and it just provides you a stopwatch, which is pretty cool. And you can make it full screen, like so. And then you just hit start. All right, let's get pulling. But that order is all pulled. They used all the new here. 16 minutes, 58 seconds. Fortunately, you know, some people like to say that's that's the time to pull an order when it's at this at this spot, right? They'll they'll say, hey, it took me this long to pull this order. Unfortunately, it takes more time too to bag up each of these um, each of each of these cups and get it ready to be enveloped, and that time needs to be considered as well, and so. I will hopefully 16 minutes 58 if I start it let's bag this up because that's part of the time of pulling this order here we go and stop this is a completed order order is bagged ready to go on the table I'm ready to start another order I can't start another order when all the parts are in the cups because I've got to comp I got to finish that order I've got to finish packing it up getting it ready to get it off my cart so that I can start another order. That's when we should stop the timer. So 21 minutes, 18 seconds. So another four minutes went by. For me, it took me four more minutes to bag this up, get this ready, uh, and clear my, my cart to get ready for another order. That's four minutes as part of pulling that order. By the way, if I was calculating, um, it's 17 minutes. Uh, the pull 55 lots was 3.24 lots per hour. Or it took, I was pulling 3.24 lots per minute. And if I were to do the 21 minutes, 2.62 lots per minute. So it does have an effect on, you know, your total speed there. Um, I know you're not pulling lots the last four minutes, but those last four minutes are what you need to complete the order to be able to start the next order and start the clock all over again. You can't have a gap of four minutes and uh, not not calculate that. You could be really slow in packing that order, but yet you're still pulling at 3.23 or 24, whatever I was, whatever I had. But if you can bag that faster you can get this number up. This is the number that really matters, in my opinion. Open up bag two. Uh, hope it'll at least get this bag. This only has one small bag inside of it. Maybe start bag three before I gotta start work today. So uh, we'll get working on that. I've got probably about an hour and 15 minutes, maybe a little bit more to get it, to get it as much done as I can. Bag two had the other two minifigures, so um, Dressed up three with uh, accessories with the small blaster here for Leia. Um, three with the silver, flat silver um, regular blaster for whoever this guy is. I forget what his name is. And I don't have the box anymore here. Uh, then I've parted out one and I've got one built for Bricklink for both. Uh, I'm going to put these two silver, um, flat silver blasters in the store. And I'm going to steal these two for my eBay supplies. So, 
Um, so now we'll go and adjust this in brick store so that um, we'll subtract these three. We'll add one for brick link and then we'll part out one for, for the store as well and see if I have any of these parts, which I don't think I have any of these parts, but it's good to check anyways. Show you the, the process here. Um, so it's a uh, General John Dodonna or Jan Dodonna. So I'm gonna drop him down to one because um, I'm gonna put one in the Brickling store and it works out because I have, I'm just gonna put one in as a part out. So right click, go down to part out item. I do it in a new document. So, um, so it adds a new document here. And then I go up here, no wait, edit. I've already got a store, my store inventory in a tab. So that was from the other day, copy values. We've seen this before, so I'm just gonna check. Nothing, right? So then I copy all this, right click copy, go back to my other file. I'm gonna paste right on top of him. And it's gonna ask, do you wanna override selected item? I'm gonna say no. Everything pops in down here. Okay, so now I take a drawer um, and I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put all of the part out items and the minifigure into the same drawer. Uh, that's what I've been doing lately. Instead of putting, bagging them up and putting them into uh, my minifig stand over there. So this all goes into drawer number 3397. 3397. So that does all of the, the parts. I'm going to go back up to uh, the minifigure. If I can find him. Where is he? Where is he? There he is. Okay, and then I do for him 3397. That's it. So one guy, one of each of the parts, and then three three have been subtracted and are going to, to eBay. Uh let's do the just do the blaster. So what is that? So forgot I left him on the uh on the keyboard. So there we go. So we only have two of him or two of these blasters. There, we've updated that. Alright, so next thing I gotta do, um since we're doing blasters, let's delete the other one. So here, we can delete that because we're not gonna put any of these in. And then the next thing I do, I gotta do this all over again for Leia, but I just don't have to do the, uh, the blaster because we just did that. All right, now that we've got all of the minifigures uh, parts in the Brickling store, now we just need to deal with uh, organizing the eBay. Um, parts real quick. So I've got two blank cards here, which is this paper cut out into the shape of a card. Uh, I've got my the rest of these guys here. So I'll take these blasters off. And I'll put them in the blaster drawers. Uh, pick up these four. And I'll go uh, get the other two that are in this cup. Part a little bit, and we'll find the blaster drawers. We'll put that in there. Okay. Next, uh, we'll just need to update these cards. So these will be ready for. Let me find the pen. So the first one is uh, General Jan Dodana, which is SW one one four zero. S W one one four zero. That's him. Oh, we'll turn that over. Leia is Leia is S W one oh three six. S W one oh three six. We'll turn that over. So now we write the accessories on the back. So one accessory, one, this one's a uh, color black. And we'll write the part number in between. Okay, I'm having trouble. The card's moving and I can't hold it because I'm holding the camera. 
there. And then this is, I think, flat silver, right? Yeah, flat silver. Flat silver. And then we just write the part numbers. Uh, so the flat silver one is 58247. 58247. So that way there I can just I can just look up this part number, see what I need, and then uh, find the right color. This one is, I don't have it up, hold on. Okay, I typed minifigure and it came up, the other blaster came up. So let's type blaster. Oh, right, I deleted it. That's right, I'm an idiot. <laughs> So uh, we'll go back to BrickLink and we'll just type in Blaster. Um, see all parts. Here it is. 92738. 92738. All right, next thing, we'll put these in little baggies and then we'll put them in the uh, well, we'll put these right now into the Star Wars Episode 4, 5, and 6 drawer, which is about ready to be trimmed now. And then we'll bag up those two over there and we'll put them in here for waiting photos. See, here's, here's Luke and R2 already in there from bag one. And just to finish it up, the last thing I'll do is add two entries here for both Leia and... Uh, and the general here so that uh, um, when I'm when I get this filled I can uh, print this out cut them up and then come back to these cards that I've written the bricklink uh, number on and put the sticker on it so all right now we're gonna open up bag three I still got an hour and a half I didn't realize it was uh, an hour earlier when I told you I had an only an hour and 15 minutes left so I've got plenty of time this is this one bag so we'll get this uh, uh, opened up and parted out. Another new piece that I haven't seen before. Thought this was interesting. It's like a, uh, a fusion of a one by two Technic brick and a two by two plate with a hole in the middle, or something, or maybe a two by two plate. It's just really interesting. I hadn't seen that before. It's got a little uh, groove at the bottom. I don't know what the hole would be for. It's like a little slot. I don't know what you would use this for. Um, I went and looked this time, and not as many, only, uh, what, one, two, three, four, five, five sets. The Hip Hop Car, I think that's a video. Looks like it. I mean, with all those tiles, right? And then, um, Disney, no, Friends, um, City, and then Bubba Fett's Starship. It's Slave One. Come on, let's, let's be real here. Um... And then the X-Wing fighter. So interesting. There was another one too, I thought I hadn't seen before. Where which one? Oh, this one. It's like a new connector piece I hadn't hadn't seen before. I'm willing to bet that one's not new, but let's let's take a quick peek. White. Uh it's down a Technic, I would assume. Technic driving. Oh yeah, look at look at all those sets. I just hadn't seen it before. Maybe I just haven't seen it in white before. Anyways, all right, I'm gonna put this uh, uh, part of the bag away and then go to the small bag. Bag three is all done. I still got half an hour, so we're gonna move on to bag four. Got my smoothie, 
strawberry banana naked juice we're gonna do it we'll probably hopefully get this done today and uploaded all right it's all parted out the files all done we've got 2,317 items, 139 lots, $536.64. Um, just doing a quick calc. Um, I paid 40 for each times five, 200. So almost three, two, two point something, 2.3 maybe, I don't know. Um, Cool, let's get this uploaded. Just looking for stock room items as I'm going down. I don't see any. And there we go. Upload file. Let's see how many uh, unique items I get. 69. Nice. Hey, look at that handsome dude. It's Saturday. It's 9-11. Um, yeah. It's 9-11. 20 years. Can't believe that. I was, uh, I was at work at the time. And uh, I think one of my coworkers had somebody in one the South Tower, I think. Uh, they did get out, but uh, I remember the the, uh, the chaos of not knowing what happened to them. We, uh, somebody in one of the offices had a TV, and we wound up, like, standing around the TV watching it, trying to refresh CNN. I remember this vividly. We tried refreshing CNN.com repeatedly, and we had, everybody had, like, uh, DDoSed it to death. Like, it, it couldn't handle it. Um... And, uh, yeah, we, I finally, we finally went home around 11 o'clock, I think, after the second tower fell. And I remember going home and saying, hey, we're, you know, we were only, we're only a six-hour drive from New York City. So I was, went to my wife and I was like, we need to go get blood because people are going to need blood. And so I went uh, to the blood bank and it was packed. It was, everybody had the same idea. And um, I remember sitting in the lobby and uh eventually came to came to the realization like nobody's gonna need blood because nobody's left alive um and so i finally went home around six o'clock after sitting in the blood bank for like i don't know about four to four to six hours and uh went home and yeah that was just a crazy day i hate the anniversary of these things because i hate reliving this every day or every year and uh i'm sure when i had cable it was really hard to to come up on this anniversary but i don't have cable anymore so i'm just seeing uh bits and pieces every now and then on uh you know on on anniversary on like cnn and stuff like that but um yeah okay enough of that nothing on uh on the stores which is great gives me time to work on stuff three orders on ebay so get that i thought i only thought i had two i must have lost track somewhere what the third one was so we'll get that uh pulled i have some mail from yesterday i'm gonna have to go back upstairs and grab and i can go through that and then i'm gonna i think instead of doing a part out today i'm gonna work on some of those used stuff that's been piling up try to knock that down a little bit all right and of course fully caffeinated coffee and in case you're wondering, it's 8.30 in the morning. I've been getting up early the last couple of days. Yesterday was, uh, when I get up, 6.40 I got up. I didn't start working until 8, though, I think. It was a little earlier. Anyways, I've been getting up earlier. Kids going to school, so that, that was a catalyst for that. Got all my orders pulled. Let's see what I can rebuild out of these three. All right. Um... Rebel Scout Trooper. Let's see what I got. Hey, buddy. Morning. You need to just follow me around, huh? Huh? You follow me around? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see.
thought I had rebel troopers in here. Oh, here's one. I just don't have the head. I know I have a head. It's in a bag somewhere. I'll have to find it after. Alright, and I need uh, one of these visors. And I need a blaster. Um, here's one. There. Put that back. Hi, buddy. I see you. What are you jumping on me for? Alright, so that's one. Um, I'll get the head. I know where it is. There's the head. I hope. Otherwise, I can't relist that guy. So that's one. Stop jumping on me. I don't like it. I'm going to hurt your leg. Stop it. Shang-Chi, that should be easy. Uh, this guy in the back there. Boom. Done. Got one more after that for him. What's the next one? Robin with short hair. Uh, DC Heroes, here's Robin. So I just need his cape, which I think I have. I can get this drawer out. Here, I see it. I can see it in the camera. There it is. You took a running jump at me that time. That's not cool at all. I see you. You just want me to love and pet you, don't you? Oh, big yawn. Right, big yawn. So there we go. I just got to find that one head. Here it is. Here's the head I was looking for. Found it in this bag of heads, which is like the fourth bag I went through. I knew it was in a bag of heads. I thought it was in that bag of heads down there, but that wasn't it. Uh, this actually was in that drawer over there. Hi. In that drawer over there. So I had gone through it for some reason looking for something. And I remember pulling this out, but then I put it back in there because I didn't know where it went at the time. I knew I needed it, but I forgot who I needed it for. So here we go. Right there. Here's that order. Um, does it say who it's from? Thank you so much for your order. Please consider me. Uh, have a wonderful day. Nope. Nor is there a uh, Brinklink order ID. Wandering bricks, it says on the uh, on the package. So again, no identification of which order this is. I have to think, be a detective and figure it out. So please, please start adding an order ID somewhere. Just check the back of this little slip. Make sure it's not on that. Nope, not on that. Uh, there should be a bunch of stuff here that I can at least rebuild a couple. Ninjago legs. Um, plain red legs. Some accessory stuff that I, I could use. Um, some heads. Darth Vader head. Always in demand for Darth Vader heads. Uh, yeah. Let, let me get this out and um, verify it and then I'll show you what's in it when it's all on the thing here before I put it away. Here we go. Some uh, Ninjago, Star Wars, minifigure parts. Um, here's the Sam Blue arm that I needed for one of the torsos that I got the other day um, that was, had a crack, cracked arm. Um, some more red hands. Whip. Some Ninjago legs, short legs for Yoda, I think. I have, uh, I'll come back to the red legs in a second. Oh, gravity. I think I was through most of it. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, light blue gray legs and more than Ninjago legs. The red legs here are weird. Um, I originally thought they were like, I thought these ones are fake, but they're not. They just, I think they're older. Uh, they've got an older Lego Lego logo in between the hips. Um, let's see if I can, we can see it here. It's like goes between the th yeah. It doesn't have the copyright symbol. Just Lego um, compared to one of these newer ones here that it's got the copyright. 
and it's uh yeah see and if you put them side by side i think this is yeah yeah this one looks a little darker and doesn't have the nice sheen to it as this one does um that's what made me notice it i don't know do they make fake lego that with like lego logo in it so anyways i'm gonna put this away i think uh this these legs will help me complete one minifigure uh what else this will well, the oh this is the one problem i had uh can you see it in the picture this one uh got a crack in it crack in the hand in the arm there of course the helmet's not staying on Man, you can't see it in the camera. Yeah, there it is. See it? The crack in the arm. I always get cracks in the arms. Anyways, uh, it's just a white arm. I should be able to have it down there in my, my arm stash. Be able to replace that. I should be able to relist that easily. I don't know what else I have here that I can relist. Uh, put it away and we'll find out. Got everything put away. Um, you might remember this. This was the, uh, the red cape that I got a couple weeks ago that had, like, the dark red on one side and red on the other side. Um, I had two of those. Well, I didn't need to send that back, so instead of just letting it sit around, I did order, um, this torso with the dark red arms and was able to make this different, uh, Royal Guard trooper. Um, and it comes with... <laughs> weird weird set of accessories it's black telescope and a gray bar uh that's that's the accessories for that so that needs pictures that'll go in the uh needs photos because i don't remember listed that one before and then um these legs are supposed to be light bluish gray when i got it got it onto the actual minifigure and then next to another minifigure with light bluish gray legs these are either faded or they're light gray um, I'm assuming faded, but either way, I can't use these legs for the minifigure that I need. It's too light. Uh, and then here are the two minifigures that I can relist. So again, I needed these legs, and that was able to relist him quickly. And then uh, this guy, I needed uh, torso and legs. So I just took out the head and helmet out of the bag and put in the full minifigure after I replaced the uh, the broken arm on it which was easy enough and so yeah there we go only two problems with that one and so with with these two relistings and the three relistings I did earlier that's five so I'm done for the day so that's good my first upload abuse was a bunch of uh, inverted slopes 141 items 50, 51 lots 1257 let's see how many of those are unique 18 are unique to my store thanks everyone for watching our video don't forget to subscribe to ralph's bricks youtube channel by clicking our icon here you can watch our last store vlog video by clicking here you can watch the latest video that we've produced here and don't forget you can find us at ralphsbricks.com